welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, November 23rd, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. The contest season, as we know it, might be starting to wind to a close, but you wouldn't know it by the way our old friend Dusty Hanshaw is training. Earlier in the week, Mr. Blue Collar Bodybuilding himself released some footage from a recent chest training session where we see the longtime veteran getting it in like he's in prime mid-season form. Right now, Hanshaw looks to be in some of his best off-season condition we've seen from him in some time, maybe his entire career, and that would certainly bode well for whatever's on his docket for next season. The attitude this guy brings to the gym and the stage is flat out infectious. I can't wait until we see him get back up there and start making things happen once again. We've seen guys throw some pretty impressive weight around over the years, but I think our buddy Paulo Almeida may have entered into a realm all his own. This week Almeida released some footage from a recent chest training session where we see the Canadian monster crushing a set of gigantic 175 pound dumbbells for a cool 25 reps. This is just the latest in a string of impressive feats this offseason for Almeida, who really seems to be improving by leaps and bounds at this point. And assuming he can keep the momentum rolling, this guy is going to create some major problems at some point next season. It looks like the comeback train is still rolling along just fine for our old friend Fakhri Mubarak. After announcing that he was planning to make a comeback to the stage after a nearly decade-long absence a few weeks ago, Mubarak has really stepped his game up to a new level. Footage from a recent back training session shows a 250 plus pound Mubarak sporting all of his sizzle and then some. And he's going to need every bit of it if he has plans of coming back and throwing down in the 212 division. If there's one thing Mubarak knows, it's how to bring championship level conditioning. So if he can get the muscle back where he needs it, you never know what sort of wild card he could be in the right lineup. Coming off a monster second season that included a top six finish at the Arnold Classic, along with a handful of other standout performances, it doesn't seem like 212 powerhouse Jung Won Kang has any plans of slowing down anytime soon. This week, the normally reclusive Kang gave his fans a rare sneak peek at what's been down during one of his recent back training sessions as he heads into the next phase of his off-season program. Despite not making his way back to the Olympia stage, Kang still showcased plenty of solid improvements this year that are going to serve him well moving forward. If he starts to pick his spots correctly and really buckle down on presenting his best overall look, I have no doubt that this guy is capable of winning some pro shows at some point in the very near future. There aren't many culturally iconic figures in the history of bodybuilding, but I think you can make a pretty solid argument for including the name Rusty Jeffers on that list. After his win at the Pittsburgh Masters Pro back in 2014, it looked like we might have seen the last of one of the truly unique talents and personalities to ever hit the stage. But this week, Muscle in the Morning got some exclusive news that the man himself is actually in the process of making a comeback. Jeffers has been training in Arizona alongside friend and training partner 212 Pro Marte Ruelas who told us this week that Jeffers is looking to make his way back to the stage sometime before the close of the 2017 season. When and where is still anyone's guess at this point, but when it happens, remember that you heard it here first, exclusively on Muscle in the Morning. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.